Hello everybody, I'm your host Bossage, and this is an update video on HMS Prince of Wales. So, today, about 20 minutes ago, so HMS Prince of Wales, as pictured here, returned to Portsmouth. She left late April to conduct trials. Um, she has returned back to Portsmouth today for a logistics stop um, to load up on supplies before she heads back out to sea for further trials. I did get worried, will admit, when I, because these pictures are screenshots from the HMS Warrior webcam, and I did get worried for that police boat, because for quite a lot of the time, it was heading in the same direction as HMS Prince of Wales, and I thought, you're going to get crushed, but obviously I knew it would eventually move. I did notice as well her phallic um, guns. It doesn't look like she's got as many, and she hasn't got one on the back of her like um, HMS Queen Elizabeth does. So if anybody's got any opinions on that, please drop them down below in the comments section. Have they just configured her gun-wise differently? I mean, the person I think she hasn't got as many because she's still undergoing trials. So, um, and with her doing trials in UK waters, maybe she doesn't need as much protection. In this picture, we see HMS Tyne in the background. Obviously keeping a watchful eye on everything. But uh, there wasn't as many people looking, uh, keeping an eye out for HMS Prince of Wales returning. I don't know if that's because um, she hasn't gone on her first deployment, her first operation, or if um, HMS Queen Elizabeth gets more attention because she's the, the flagship of the Royal Navy. I did notice that as well. Um, There's a, a guy in a white top in front of the Spice Island Inn. And while I was watching the uh, the webcam, watching HMS Prince of Wales come into part, he ran from the left-hand side of the picture all the way um, past the Spice Island. I don't know if he was generally just jogging or if he was wanting to meet HMS Prince of Wales. But if he was, I'm glad I'm not the only one that has run to the front of Portsmouth to look at a Royal Navy vessel coming to port. I just think these sort of pictures where either HMS Queen Elizabeth or HMS Prince of Wales, when they're just behind 
these buildings just behind old Portsmouth, um, it, it does bring um, a certain perspective. You truly get um, an appreciation, an eye for how big these aircraft carriers are. Yeah, so that's it. Um, I I feel a bit ashamed of myself for admitting this, but I didn't actually know HMS Prince Wales were coming back into port um, today. I literally just caught a. Um, actually, I caught at the perfect time. Any further away, it wouldn't have been a very good picture. But yeah, um, so yeah, she's come back for a logistics stop. And actually, if you, if I can get the picture, There, on the right hand side, that is a chemical tanker, um, and I've done a little bit of research, and she does do fuel, she, um, quite a lot, so, obviously a chemical tanker can carry all sorts of liquids, but I imagine she's bringing aviation fuel and, uh, fuel for HMS of Wales. I'm trying to see if there's any more updates for you guys. Yeah, so HMS Prince of Wales has been preparing for frontline operations, spending most of her first fortnight back at sea conducting aviation trials with the RAF and Commander Helicopter Force. So, she notes from 7 Squadron have been helping to train Carrier's Air Department alongside Commander Carrier Merlin of 846 Naval Air Squadron from RNAS. Yalesland. Sorry, I'm probably not pronouncing that right. So, yeah. And also, she sailed alongside her sister ship before she departed for her operation, which hasn't and won't happen very often um, as you guys probably know aircraft carriers normally deploy on the run and what I mean by that is you don't often see um, a number of aircraft carriers together they'll always have escorts of course but The last couple of times I remember any aircraft carriers being together was when North Korea was testing nuclear missiles. Um, the US sent three together. And I think just recently um, the US has sent two aircraft carriers to China. But before that, I think it was about the midway where three aircraft carriers... Um, got sent so that just goes into perspective how often aircraft carriers um, do get sent 
together. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you've enjoyed the pictures. And I'll see you next time. Please smash that like button if you've liked the content I am publishing. If you've got any comments or suggestions, bob them down in the comment section. And please subscribe, it's greatly appreciated. And it just shows that I am publishing the correct content. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.